here, cotton is harvested. It's rolled into huge bales just like this. From here, it's sent to a cotton gin where it's cleaned and then separated. The seed is separated from the lint or the fiber. Across Yuma County, fields of cotton are being picked. Cotton is used in many items, including clothing, baby products, coffee filters, and more. But the seed that is separated from the cotton is used for different purposes, including feed for cattle and horses. Here in Yuma, because we don't have a lot of rain, a lot of the seed that's grown will go back to the seed companies, and the seed companies will then use that as planting seed next year. Robert Masson works with the University of Arizona's Ag Center in Yuma. He says this year's record heat impacted cotton growers. If the temperatures get too hot, then we don't have good pollen formation, and so we don't have good pollinization with the flowers that are blooming. Oftentimes, the flowers will go sterile and they'll fall off instead of setting the bowls. The heat came early, which really affected the yields. And low yields can lead to a loss in money for Arizona farmers. Although it's unfortunate, the University of Arizona is conducting a cotton trial to try and limit cotton crop loss. We have unique microclimates uh, that will be different than other parts of the state. Researchers at the university are planting different types of cotton to test out which variety is best for Arizona's heat. And help farmers understand which are the best varieties for them to grow in our region. With the hopes of getting a better yield next year. In Yuma, Alexandra Rangel, Arizona's Family.